What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy to have you. I'm very excited to be talking about what I'm going to be talking about in today's video, believe me. And we do have a lot to discuss and we are going to get right into it. But before we do, please do not forget to smash that thumbs up button if you enjoy this content so that the YouTube algorithm shares this video with as many apes as possible. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so because I drop content just like this every single day. So now let's quickly talk about AMC and GME and what in the freak happened today because I know you guys are excited. I'm excited. Nearly a 28% move in AMC and almost a 53% move in GME all in one day. And even Benzinga thinks that maybe AMC is going through a bit of a short squeeze. More on that in just a second. But first, let's talk about what in the hell is going on and why. So... According to a lot of sources, the reason that these stocks are popping off right now is because retail interest is really picking up. The retail investors, the apes, that would be us, are stepping back into this. And uh, yeah, a little FOMO rally there. And what's a FOMO rally going to do? Well, it's going to cause the stocks to go up because everybody's like, oh shit, I missed out. Everybody that's sold is coming back in because they want to buy a piece of the freaking action because they want to be involved. They want to be part of the freaking short squeeze when it happens with either AMC or GME or both. Yeah, it could happen with both and probably more than likely at some point will. So, yeah, retail investor interest is picking back up. That was my point. Let's talk about the total trading volume on the day for both of these. So, normally for AMC, it's about 36 million, or that's the average volume. Today it was 82, so that's more than double. On GME, normally the average volume is about 3 million. Today it was 15 million. So, that's three times the amount. But why in the world are we seeing such freaking increased volume right now? What in the hell was going on today? To make all of this happen, well, it seems like it wasn't just a one-day event because our volume has been increasing on both of these, but what really happened today that made a difference is that it was announced that Ryan Cohen bought an additional 100,000 shares of GME, which is really making a powerful statement. Remember yesterday when we discussed uh, what Adam Aaron potentially could have done different or where he could have uh, invested some of that extra money differently by maybe buying back some AMC shares and it would give, well, us the apes more confidence in him and the company and it would raise the share price and potentially could spark a freaking, uh, what do y'all call it, that MOA ass, a short squeeze because the price of the shares would be increasing while all these bastards are shorting it. And we also talked yesterday about wanting bad news. We wanted bad things to happen because we needed the short interest to go even higher. So we don't like good news. Well, we've been getting a ton of bad news, not specifically for AMC or GME, but just overall in the broader market, which has increased the short interest. And uh, which, yeah, it's freaking beat down the share price of both of these stocks, but short sellers are a lot smarter than us, so they're going to continue short, and even though the prices of the freaking stocks are uh, already too low, or at least they are in my opinion. So what in the hell happens when that happens? Well, you see that shorts get burned, and uh, when some really, really, really good news comes out, like, for example, let's say Ryan Cohen decides to buy 100,000 shares of GME, well, then shorts get burned on GME and it starts to squeeze them. And because GME is squeezing or going up for whatever reason, I'm not saying it's squeezing, for whatever reason it chose to go up today. And maybe, maybe it could be a FOMO rally because everybody sees that it's going up. And oh my God, they got to get in on the action. And a lot more of that is uh, bound to happen very soon because anytime these stocks go up, people want to buy them. Nobody wants to buy them when they're going down. They only want to buy when they're going up. Great strategy, by the way. It's really helping my portfolio and uh, probably everybody else's that's watching. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. Anyhow, back to the topic. So when GME, because it's a meme stock, when it uh, goes up on really, 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 really freaking good news, then of course AMC will do the same because it's a sympathy play. So that's why we saw such big percentage moves from both today or, you know, GME had the news, but AMC also popped up. Yeah, yes, yes. And what does that mean for the short sellers? Well, maybe you can take a guess 
And maybe I can tell you what Benzinga is now saying so that it's not coming directly out of my mouth. And uh, I think you guys are going to like it. So here's what Benzinga had to say. AMC may also be experiencing a short squeeze. AMC has a total share float of 515 million, of which 101.33 million shares are sold short, representing 19.68% of shares sold short. Well, thank you, Benzinga, for uh, having the courage to step up and say that maybe, maybe we're squeezing. Maybe this is a short squeeze. So maybe these short sellers will finally learn a lesson, or maybe they're just going to start covering and uh, screw themselves and their short fucking selling buddies. And yeah, the cycle continues. It's a brutal cycle. That being said, I have an apology to all of the short sellers that have been short selling AMC and GM's GME stocks. You guys are in a boatload of trouble. You're in a real freaking pickle. And uh, I hope that you've learned your lesson finally. Actually, no, I don't hope that you've learned your lesson. I want you to keep short and go ahead and increase your short positions. This is exactly what we want because you are going to be responsible for bringing us the Moa Ass. So if you guys are tired of, uh, you know, playing around, because we sure are tired of you playing around and not taking real short positions, okay? Be a little braver. Go ahead, step out on a limb and really, 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 really increase your short positions. I'm looking you dead in the freaking eye and telling you, do it so that we can move on from this play very, very rich, just as we intended. Now, one more thing that I'm going to close with today, and then you guys can go about your happy, merry lives. But uh, if we run this company, AMC, should we not ask Adam Aaron to use some of that money that he plans on spending uh, in whatever way he plans on spending it without maybe telling us next time like he did this last time? Maybe he should spend it on buying some shares of AMC back. Yeah, some buybacks. Now, we see what this caused in uh, GME. We see what happened there, and we see how that translated into AMC stock, just off the sympathy. So maybe, Adam Aaron, if you're watching, and I know you are, or maybe your son's watching, I don't know. Maybe I should, uh, somebody should tag Adam Aaron in this on Twitter. Okay, start buying back AMC shares so that uh, we can experience more of this so that we can experience more FOMO rallies, so that we can experience that short squeeze much sooner, okay? That mo ass. That's all I'm going to leave you guys with today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the content, and if you appreciate my uh, perspective, and also make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet because, of course, I drop content just like this every single day. But, uh, yeah, for now, all I got to say is that I will see you guys in the next video.